It's an exciting 2-1 to -one victory for Lafayette over Boston University to start out Patriot League play. Adam Dobrovolsky here with head coach Dennis Bond will be joined by our player of the game momentarily and Giannis Paniedis. But coach, obviously in this game, you get the lead in the first half. Unfortunate sequence of events ties it up at one, but the team bounces back. Just talk about the team's resiliency to get that win. Yeah, I mean, I just think it shows our character. I mean, missing a PK, giving up a, an awful goal um, could be very demoralizing. And very easily on a hot day like today, uh, with the stress and pressure, and mentally and physically, a lot of teams would just collapse. And uh, this team showed great resolve, great heart, and uh, again, great character, uh, and found a way to win. Well, sometimes it just takes the moment of a freshman who might just be soaking in the moment and not focused on all the other things going on. And Yanni comes through with a big goal. To have, we've talked about the various different options. He was playing a lot at holding central mid with Adam Brampson out. He moves more up top as of late. That strike obviously so big, but to have that come from a freshman, how does that feel as a coach? Yeah, I mean, Giannis is a great player. He's really versatile and will do whatever I ask him to do. And so we moved him further up the field. We know he has the ability to make plays and uh, in the attacking third. And uh, his shot today showed the skill and talent that he has uh, as an attacking option as well. So just couldn't be prouder of him. Obviously huge to get to three points today. You have two games coming up next week. Another tune-up in Philly against St. Joe's and then the trip to Worcester against Holy Cross to have two games in one week now in the Patriot League season. What's going to be the key to make sure that the team's ready, not just for one game, but for two maybe to kind of help things out tactically to prep for Holy Cross? Yeah, I mean, we have to go back to the video because even though we got the win today, we have a lot of things that we need to clean up and work on. Um, but we also have a lot of depth, and we've shown that all year. So to be able to have midweek games and still, I think, go and compete against another team from Philadelphia, you know, that's going to be physical and talented and good. Um, we're going to have our hands full. But again, I think our, our, our depth really is going to help in these kind of weeks leading up to, um, you know, a midweek non-conference game and then a, a weekend Patriot League match. Congrats on the win, Coach. Thanks. And now here with our player of the game, Giannis Panaitis. And Giannis... And that type of moment, it's a huge moment where you're thinking anything or are you just deciding to fire and see what happens? Um, okay, I understood that we had very few time to score, so I just find myself in front of the goal and I shot. What does the fear, the, just the pure excitement feel like when you get that goal? <sighs> it's unbelievable feeling, it's exciting. I went with the alumni and I celebrate. It's, for, it's the day for them, it's a day for us, it's a good day today. Now, obviously, as a freshman, you have a lot to get acclimated to, obviously coming from Cyprus here to the States, a great academic program. So you have a lot on your plate. How has it been so far to have excitement and five wins so far for the team? It's excellent. I want to mention my teammates. They, were, they became my brothers, my family here. I'm so, I'm so proud of them. I'm so lucky I have them, and I wish them all the best. What's your key to rest and recovery for the upcoming games? Sleep. Sleep. Sleep a lot. Always, always good. Congratulations on the win, Yanis. Thank you very much. And again, for the Leopards coming up, they'll be on the road their next two at St. Joe's at Holy Cross. The next home game will be a Wednesday, Wednesday October 2nd game against Army West Point. For the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Adam Dobrovolsky.